Hello, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. I hope you are all well. I just thought I know some of you are housebound or you don't get much opportunity to, to come out. So I know this one lady, uh, Jan, if you're watching. Well, this is well, this is for everybody, but I I know some of you like like the walks I come on. I'm sorry, it's a bit windy. It might it might change when when I uh, get over there around the, around that bend. But I'm just down near the beach, as you can see, and uh, I just thought I'd do this for a different cha a change for you all. Some yachts out there. I'll have to get around here where there's going to be no, uh, well, hopefully less wind. I hope you are all all right, whoever you are watching. Um, I love you. And on top of that, Jesus Christ loves you even more. And this is what this channel is about. It is about, well, I'm a street preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ which grants a person everlasting life, saves and seals the person, heaven bound and rapture ready when you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible, which the, is the word of God, makes it expressly clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So we all have sinned. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That means the destruction of the soul in hell forever. Cut off from the light of God, cut off from all goodness and in a place of outer darkness where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. So why would anybody go, decide to go there when, the, when uh, there's a chance for every single person to be saved, no matter who they are, no matter what they have done, all can be saved. So we, the human race, has, if you like, a virus, and it's called sin. And the only way, the only way that that sin can be removed is by the blood of Jesus. Jesus went to the cross. He was sacrificed to shed his blood. Because it is written, there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to be a sacrifice for us to pay the penalty in full on the cross for all our sins, past, present and future sins. He was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day. That is the gospel the most important message that anybody will ever hear in this life. Hiya. Hi, you alright? You, you, there's thousands of people watching you. Say hello. hello. Jesus loves you. God bless. So, just... What's that? You live stream. Live? live? Yeah, what is it? No, it's not live. What's YouTube? YouTube, yeah. yeah Christian ministry. All right. So I, I talk to anybody and everybody. There's kids. If I wasn't with filming, I would have stopped and talked to them a little bit more and told them the gospel. But that's the gospel, what I just said. Jesus, his death, his burial, his resurrection from the cross for all our sins. And when you believe it in your heart and call upon Jesus, not only will you be saved, not only will all your sins, past, present and future, be blotted out, but your name shall be written in heaven. You shall be written in the Lamb's book of life, Jesus' book of life. 
you will be sealed with God's Holy Spirit of promise. And God doesn't go back on his promises. Hold on a second, I'll change my hands. God doesn't go back on his promises. The good thing that he starts in you, we, we can be confident that he will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ, which, which day is coming soon. Um, so when you believe that gospel message in your heart and you call upon Jesus or confess Jesus as Lord, you are saved sealed, sanctified, safe from going down to hell, born again, uh, heaven bound and ready, rapture ready for when the Lord Jesus Christ himself at any moment, it could be before I finish this video, he shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise, they'll be resurrected first and then all Christians which are alive and remain will be caught up together with the dead in Christ in glorified bodies into the air to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words and then this world is going to be turned upside down and this is why I'm reaching out, I'm going to, I don't know what to title this video, I wanted to come into somebody's feed who's not heard the gospel and happened to know how much Jesus loves you and he's given you free will. If you've not laid hold of salvation, he's given you free will to either accept or reject the free gift of God which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. And all can be saved, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you have done, Jesus will receive anybody and everybody who believes on him. His mercies are so great. I'm going to pray for you all in a minute. His mercy is so great. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. And the Lord is good to all. Just a second, I want to swap hands again. Sorry about that. The Lord is good to all, even to the wicked. He gives food to the wicked. He gives them drink, he gives them houses. The Lord is good to all. And I'm gonna pray Psalm 91 over me and over you because that's what we need right now protection because I believe in the power of prayer I don't just say the prayers and not expect God to answer I expect him to answer and expect him to do even more than what I pray so I'm going to pray first of all that you all be blessed in the name of Jesus I thank God for each and every one of you and I, I ask, Father, rich and abundant blessing, healing upon people, Father. Mental, spiritual healing, physical healing, and restoration in the name of Jesus. Upon everybody watching, I know you're going to answer, Lord. Those that are bowed down will be raised up. Those that are in distress will suddenly notice, Lord, that you're right by their side, going through it with them in the name of Jesus. I pray you manifest yourself to everyone to remind them of your perfect love in Jesus' name, and you'll keep them in that. I pray this blessing will last for a few days at least, Lord God, upon everybody watching, and you will make your face shine upon them. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. And you said, if our eye be single, then our whole body shall be full of light. Let their eye be single, Lord, and pour out your light into them. In the name of Jesus, be gracious unto them. Grace and power. Let the voice of the Lord is powerful. So, Father God, 
the voice of the Lord is full of majesty, and I pray you speak your powerful words into every one, not only reminding them of your love, but of your power. I pray you pour out your power, speak your power into them, Lord Jesus. Give them peace, people who are being persecuted. Protect them, deliver them in the name of Jesus. Lord God, anybody in a part of the world that's going through uh, troubles uh, because of the Jabiru, the old shot, I just pray in the name of Jesus, deliver them, deliver them from trouble in the name of Jesus, Father. Protect your children, Lord God, in Jesus' name. I just pray everybody's going to notice a, a tangible, a noticeable difference that they can feel, Lord God, with this prayer. In the name of Jesus, if anybody's watching this, Father God, and they have not laid hold of their salvation, by believing the gospel, I pray that they do it today in the name of Jesus. And they won't be ashamed or afraid to call upon you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. No matter how unworthy they feel, I pray they will call upon you. Because you are rich in mercy and compassion. And you will receive them and accept them. All, Lord God, who may be watching who have not believed in Jesus' name. Show them that you are love. You love them very much, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, so, guys, just let me swap hands because I still haven't got myself a selfie stick. I can't believe it. <clears throat> I've got quite a forgetful mind. And, and it's not such a big deal holding it out with my arm. It's just uh, I have to keep swapping arms, which is... Uh, a bit of a pet pain, that's all. Some people walking down. Sundays, people come out and they go for they go for walks. And st we're still in the back end of the holiday season as well. So, although it feels m much cooler, not much cooler, but quite quite a bit cooler. So it's actually better because that that summer we had, oh my, it's sweltering. And we were preaching the gospel in that sweltering heat. I mean, I've still got shorts on, um, but I've, I've got this, uh, oops, sorry. I've got this blue top on, just just enough. Very windy, I'm sorry if there's been a lot of wind. Um, I, I love you all very much and I'm very touched by your beautiful comments. I'm very touched, the people, all of you who have donated I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um, I've just been into town in Scarborough Town Centre and I I deliberately looked for one homeless girl called Emma because I've been helping her each time I see her and she wasn't there but there was another there was another homeless man uh, whose name is Mark and he wasn't feeling too good and I sat down with him and talked with him right there on the pavement and um, on on Saturday he he's not he's he's um, he, he's uh, battling well he's not battling anymore he's overcome an addiction to heroin and he's doing really well but he's on a methadone prescription and he's quite a thin man he, He's not very strong, I wouldn't have thought so, because he's quite thin. Well, well, whether he's strong or not, um, he went to get his medication, and three guys outside, when he came out with his medication, they stole it off him. So that was his week supply of methadone, uh, and people on methadone need it just to feel all right. It's what they use to get off heroin. I was on it when I was a heroin addict. I don't mind telling you, I was. I didn't inject it, I smoked it, but nonetheless, I was addicted to it. But anyway, they stole that off him and they stole some other um, medication for his health. They stole that off him as well. So, 
and I know these these men who are doing this and anyway I stopped and I prayed with him I prayed that those men would be brought to justice and I prayed that God would supply his need um, I prayed obviously for his blessing and um, sat down with him I went and bought him a coffee sat and talked with him a little bit more because just by showing sometimes you don't even need to um, you don't even need to talk too much about your faith because people see your faith in action when you're giving giving to the poor and helping the poor and that is a testimony in itself um, people watch us they watch us they think oh that that guy's a Christian and he he wants to help and it you know and it all just helps to strengthen your uh, testimony so Jesus said uh, when you have love one towards another by this shall all men know you are my disciples if you have love one to another um, and I'm just going to point it down this way. I'm going to let these people pass me first. Um, I hope you guys are all right. I really do. Jesus is coming any moment now. And the Lord Jesus is going to tear open a hole in the heavens. And he's going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And all believers are going up into heaven before the great tribulation before this one world leader the antichrist comes on the world stage we are about to go um, you know some sometimes guys i will talk the, the gospel as i'm surrounded by people that they hear it also oh, i speak the word of god i just uh, come down here deliberately uh, to make this video f for you because I know I know lots of you have commented out you like um, the greenery and, and the little paths I go on to it is a beautiful place Scarborough is a beautiful place lots of the UK is absolutely lovely really in summertime but in winter time you'd be able to see straight through there right through there because all the leaves are gone and it's looking a bit barren, but it still looks nice, even in winter. Um, oh, I want to say Psalm 91 as a prayer over us. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. No, I'm going to start again. I'm going to say us, we, because it's a prayer for us all. We that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, I claim this over everyone watching and myself. I will, we will say of the Lord that he is our refuge and our fortress. He is our God and in him will we trust. Surely he will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover us with his feathers and under his wings shall we trust. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the most high our habitation, there shall no evil befall us, nor any plague come near our dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. They shall bear us up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the adder. 
the young lion and the dragon shall we trample under feet. The Lord says, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. They shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and I will honor them. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Over everybody watching in Jesus' name. Amen. If you can get that into your heart and memorize that, that uh, Psalm 91, um, it's good. It's good to get it in your heart because you never know when you might need it. In fact, I would memorize certain scriptures if I was you. Uh, get them into your heart like um, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Um, greater is the one who is in me than the one that's in the world. So many scriptures. Unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. To him be glory for ever and ever. Scriptures like this and scriptures like this. The things that are impossible with men are possible with our God. So Father, bless them all, please. Mightily, Lord. Greatly. Make such a difference. I know you're going to answer, Father. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. All glory to you, Father. We praise you. We give you glory. We are thankful, Lord. Restore unto us all the joy of your salvation, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that you've chosen us and called us out of this world, that we don't belong to it. Lord God, we are citizens. Lord, we are citizens of the holy city, the new Jerusalem. Lord, we are going to walk on streets paved with gold, transparent like glass. Lord God, we're going to be arrayed in white robes, Lord. Um, we're going to be, we're going to have everlasting joy upon our heads. We will reign with you on the earth for a thousand years, Lord Jesus. It's going to be so wonderful that our pre present sufferings are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us on the day of Jesus Christ. So God bless you all. I've made this quite a long video, but um, I just uh, oh, <laughs> right at the end I say I've, um, I was going to go preaching today, um, but um, I've decided every other day I'm going to do it. So I don't wear myself out. Tomorrow I'm going preaching for definite absolutely as long as we are here still as long as i am alive and as long as it isn't torrential rain i am preaching even if it's just raining a little bit i am preaching uh, probably in york because we have two places in york uh, where we can go two or three actually where we can go uh, where there's shelter so um <coughs> It's always all right, and the fact, the thing with York is, it's always got people in it. Um, this time of year, it's it's full of people from all over the world. Like I've told you before, oh, these flowers, nice. Anyway, guys, I love you, and please, the, my email address, if you want to get in touch with me, is in the description box. Um, there is a. Uh, um, like the ABCs I will put the ABCs of salvation how simple it is and how everybody can be saved no matter who they are no matter what they've done they'll be in the description box below so click on that if you are not saved to know that God does love you and how simple it is to be saved no matter what you have done literally no matter what you have done you go to Jesus and he will receive you. 
he has promised himself, he said, "I will in no wise cast anybody away who comes to me." So there you go, guys. I'll leave you with that. I'm saying good bye to you. I love you all. I really do. I know. I can feel it that we are. God is getting us ready because we're about to leave this world up, up, up into the most beautiful place that we could we can't even imagine. It's gonna be absolutely wonderful. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. And you'll either see me uh, tomorrow or possibly later on if something if something comes up I'll I'll do another video. And I love you all so much. God be with you all. Grace, mercy and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Bye bye guys.